Lauren is alive and well now, but went through a frightening experience. Uh, Lauren, thank you so much for talking with us. You started feeling ill 10 days after getting the AstraZeneca dose. Can you describe the symptoms and what you noticed that made you go to the hospital? I started with um, a horrendous headache. Um, I was really breathless. Um, I had a like a I had a high temperature. Um, so worst case scenario for me personally was that I thought I had COVID, which I'd not had before. Um, so I went that evening to get a COVID test, which come back negative. Um, and that evening I noticed that I had a horrendous pain in my left leg, like in my calf. The ambulance came out. They took all like my um, observations, so like my blood pressure, um, temperature, things like that. And everything was normal. They were just a bit concerned with um, how breathless I was and the pain in my leg. So I arrived at the a &E department and um, I was immediately put into like a like an isolation room so now you're you're in the hospital you know you don't have covid but you don't know what you have had you made any link to the vaccine at this point i personally hadn't but whilst i was um in this room in the hospital my boyfriend actually messaged me um like a screenshot of a um a news report about the astrazeneca and um i think it was that they were now being they were pausing it and investigating the thing about blood clots and he said it could be this and at this point I hadn't even put two and two together and even thought that that could be the thing that the reason. So you were sent home given a blood thin thinner and sent home what happened yeah. next? Um, I got a phone call on the Wednesday morning to go into back to the hospital for a CT scan on my lungs Um I still wasn't feeling well. I had the CT scan and then I got put into a waiting room. And this point I had horrendous pain in my leg. I was probably sat there for about half an hour and, to, and then a member of staff came over to me because I was crying again because like I was in a lot of pain and I was obviously worried. Um, I got put into like a side ward into a bed and literally about five minutes later, two doctors and a consultant came over to me. And then he said, um, basically, you have blood clots on your lungs and we assume it's from the AstraZeneca vaccine. At this point, I broke down in tears because I was really, really worried. Um, I'm only 32. I've got a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son. And to be told that I had blood clots on my lungs, which is deadly was scary and I did actually ask him am I gonna die and he said we need to start um treatment as soon as possible after all these tests it come back that um the blood clots were in my leg I think they they presume that that's where they started and then they traveled to my lungs luckily there was no blood clots on my brain you're still waiting to find out if it's officially related to the vaccine but the doctors who you have seen so far certainly suspect that. On my uh, discharge notes, it says vaccine induced thrombosis and thrombocytopenia. Every single doctor that I've seen has said that they've never ever seen this to kind of blood reaction and clots and things in anyone. You don't have any previous history of blood clots. I've never had blood clots in my life. Um, yeah, but now I've been told that um, obviously I have these blood clots. Um, I'm now severely anemic. I'm vitamin D deficient. I had um, severely low pl blood platelets. So let me go back to when you had the vaccine, Lauren. Did you have any hesitancy before you took the AstraZeneca vaccine? Honestly, no. There was a time when I was in hospital on the Thursday, I woke up with a horrendous headache. I was in so much pain. I actually text like my, I sent a text message to my family and my boyfriend saying that I don't know if I'm gonna wake up because I'm in that much pain. And the nurses were trying to say to me, basically, you've had all your tests on your head. There's no blood clot on your brain. But I said, well, that doesn't mean to say that 
no blood clots can now that I mean a blood clot could still travel to my brain um yeah that was the one point when I really honestly thought that I wasn't going to wake up I'm so sorry for the ordeal you went through it just sounds uh gut-wrenching Lauren what mm -hmm. do you tell your friends and family now who are still waiting to be vaccinated I honestly don't think that they should be given the AstraZeneca vaccine out due to the fact that there's even been one death of blood clots. So it just worries me that any other person that could have the vaccine could become ill, think, oh, it's COVID. They either get a test or they don't and just maybe isolate, not get proper medical help and possibly die because I didn't know the symptoms that I had meant I had a blood clot at all. You should, in theory, be getting a second AstraZeneca dose. Obviously, you're not going to do that, right? No, my um, doctor advised me not to get that because I would end up in hospital again. It's not something that you ever think that is going to happen to you. Lauren, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. And i um, glad you're feeling better, and I hope it improves much more. Thank you so much. Thank you.